Hello all here at osmbtxreads.com. You're watching our video tutorial on how to effectively use the YouTube editor tool without having to purchase a additional editing software, either for your Mac or your PC. It's very easy to use and you can string along different videos by combining them, you can merge them, you can cut them, you can add annotations, change the contrast, and the such, and it's all very simple and built directly into YouTube's ecosystem. There isn't unfortunately a main button like subscribe or something that's very easy to click to get to it. So the first time I would just recommend using Google and just searching YouTube uh, video editor and it's just going to pop up um, as the first choice and then you can just click on it and you can go directly into it and the page would then look like this. On the left you'll see a kind of a splash screen of your videos as they start playing after you drag them along and on the bottom here we have a string of different parts you can edit. You can drag along audio into the bottom here to add your own audio to your own video footage and then they have these different boxes for each video that you want to add. So for example, if I wanted to stream it together two or three different uh, videos, it's quite easy to use actually. So for example, if I wanted to put my channel trailer in front of a video, I would go back and search to my uh, channel video. You can also search of course by name if you have too many videos and it gets very clustered. I can then put the video over here and you can see it starts loading and playing it back. I can also make some quick adjustments here, including rotation, the slow motion, the contrast, the pan and zoom, and I can create effects side by side by splitting the screen to two and seeing the original and seeing the new one. For example, if I wanted to slow it down by four times, instead of 12 seconds, it becomes a one minute and 11 second video. And you can see how the entire process is now a lot slower. So let's just say I wanted to keep that. I can also change the effects, the text, and the audio. And the text would be a banner. So for example, if I wanted to say demo, it's going to be a demo that's actually going to be a word on the bottom of the video that cannot be removed. So um, it's nice if you want to perhaps you know write something that you don't want other people to remove on your video. Um, it's just going to stay in the very bottom part of your entire video as it starts playing, which is pretty nice. Next, just press on the uh, box over here, the next box available to drag and drop your next video over here to stream it together. But for example, if I wanted to trim down my current video, all I have to do is press on it once and now drag and drop the blue bar on the side to uh, remove it as I wish. Um, so I can now for perhaps drag it over and see the time that I want. For example, I want this video to be one minute. I can now drag it so that it is only one minute long and it's pretty easy to use and I can drag it from both sides. What you cannot use and do with a YouTube editor is actually to keep only uh, certain parts of the video, but you have multiple parts. So for example, I want like this part and I want to keep this part. In order to do that, you would have to only cut this one part out, drag over the same exact video, and then cut out the part, the other part that you want, and then merge them together. You can't actually do that directly by using just one video thumbnail for here. So next, perhaps I want to drag another video, but before I do that, let's say I wanted to make the transition a little bit more smooth. There is a simple um, you know, transition video I can add directly built into the YouTube uh, program by pressing on this icon over here. And these are all transitions that are free that you can use. They include some pretty cool effects like crossfade, cross blur, um, barn door, and checkerboard. And I can perhaps drag that over here and it's going to start playing. It's pretty short, it only lasts about two seconds each, but it also fades the audio as well. So after you're done with the video, it uh, gradually fades out your voice or the music so that uh, you can start um, more smoothly put in your next video. So I can press the bar over here again, press the video icon, and let's say I want this video to go next, and that I can put it over here, and I'm pretty much ready and done. So again, of course, there are a few more edits that you can make if you want to, including, uh, including adding some uh, uncopyrighted videos and adding some music. So let's say that I don't want to have my commentary over this, I want to have this music track. I can drag and drop the music track to the music icon on the bottom here, and now I can add a fully functioning kind of audio in the background. So it's pretty easy to use, and this is going to tell you how long the music will last. In this case, 6 minutes and 52 seconds, about the same as my actual video. So it's a pretty uh, complementary system and fairly easy to use. After I'm satisfied with all my edits, I'm done adjusting the volume and everything, I can just press publish on the left right hand corner, it's going to automatically save your project and publish it later on. Now depending on the resolution of your video and depending on the length of it, it's going to take a different time to process. Usually about a 15 minute video will take about 20 minutes to fully publish. So it's about the same time that it will take you to fully upload one. Um, so the downside will be speed. 
the plus side is that the video will be again fully published uh, so that all you need to do is change the title change the description and add some taglines to get going you don't have to upload your videos over again so it's very easy to use it's uh, very simple and it's fast and efficient so again if you aren't looking for too fancy of edits you want something very simple like stringing along a few different videos together all you have to do is just to use the one built into YouTube the YouTube video editor thanks for watching this tutorial here at osvtxreviews.com and also our brother site at OS Tech News.